Hey, crypto family, hope you all doing good today. So I have a great opportunity for you all called based farming. And it was actually a term coined by the Mango Markets team where you can earn passive income by longing spot and shorting perp. So I'm going to go over exactly what those terms mean, how you can earn this passive income and the best way to go about it. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So before we start this one, you need to make sure you have a phantom wallet. Now, for those who don't know what that is, I made a video about it. Go ahead and check it out on my YouTube channel. But basically, it's like a decentralized wallet similar to MetaMask for the Solana network, and it's what you can connect to the Mango Markets DEX. So after you have a Phantom Wallet, you need to make sure to deposit USDC in it. Again, I have a tutorial about Mango Markets and about how to use it, so you can learn how to deposit your USDC from there. But basically, get your USDC on your Phantom Wallet, so that then you can use that to long the spot and short the perps. So what essentially does long spot mean? Well, for those who know, long spot just means buying the coin and holding it, okay? So you can see my balances right now. I have MSOL, Mango, Ethereum, BTC, and FTT. And you can see my balances of each and the value of them as well. Now, the good thing about this is you can actually earn interest on these deposits, okay? So you can see these deposit rates here, MSOL earning 0.01%, Mango I'm earning 0.46%, Ethereum is 0.63%, and then again for BTC and FTT right now, the deposit rate is very, very small, so you're not gonna see it on here. So again, you can see the advantages of depositing and just holding coins, that's what makes Mango Markets DEX so different from the competition. Now, also with this is you can actually short perps, which, what is a perp? Perpetual contracts are a type of derivative that lets you easily speculate on the price of an asset, okay? They're similar to futures contracts, except futures contracts are settled after a preset period, whereas perp contracts have no expiration or settlement date, okay? Now, the great thing about perps is you can actually earn APR on funding, okay? This is why we're going to long spot and short perps. We can take advantage of both accounts. So basically, you can see here that on Bitcoin, the average one hour funding rate on the BTC per pair is 39.83% APR. Okay, that is insane. So the average one hour funding is 0.0045%. So you're getting paid USDC on this funding rate based off the notional value that you have deposited. Okay, so basically what that means is, again, you're earning this 0.0045%. So just for shorting this, again, no leverage, you're just shorting it you're earning that percentage APR. So that's something where this essential strategy comes into play because you're earning value on not only your deposits, but also your perpetual contracts as well. So we're gonna actually go over how you can do this and the best way to go about it and how you can track your account value afterwards and some of the risks that you may or may not be aware of. So first again, I mentioned you can see the balances here, okay? So I have all the balances. Basically, all I did is you just go to the USDC pairing. So for example, let's go for Mango because I do have that. I have a thousand Mango here. All I did was just put in the USDC value that I wanted. And then from there, so let's just say $100 worth. Okay, the size 333 Mangoes and then buy. Okay, now I'm actually changing this to market. So it buys it right away. Again, you can do a limit order if you want. Um, it'd be less, basically no fees. But essentially, it's doing market to be executed right away. And then from there, it'll show up here. Now, at the same time, okay, I want to short this perp if I want to take advantage of this strategy. So in that case, I would go to Mango Perps as well. And then again, I already have right here, go to the sell button and then market 100, 333, sell 333 Mango Perps. And then there, it would actually show up under my positions here. So you can see for my balances, I have a thousand mangoes that I bought spot and then positions, I shorted a thousand mangoes. Again, to offset that balance there, but I'm still earning money on the deposit interest here, but then also on the funding rate, you can see on this perp paying 96 a 96% APR on this uh, funding rate for mango, which is insane, okay? But it's a little risky. Again, I'll go over. Um, basically the weight, the assets, um, risks for Mango versus the other uh, tokens. But from there, so that's all I did. So I did that for all of these uh, coins, except for MSOL. I'll go over what I did for that. But you can see Ethereum 0.035, and then on my position, Ethereum shorted 0.035. Okay, so I basically canceled out um, everything that I bought here. And then so I could take advantage of both 
interest and funding rates. So, okay, so after you've done that and you got your positions that you wanted, next, how can you track them, okay? So you go to account and from there, this is where you can actually track your account value, okay? So basically keep in mind how much you deposit in USDC and how much uh, you are risking per se uh, when you start, okay? So when I started, I had just under $1,200. So I had 1198, okay? So right now my account value is 1220. So let's go ahead and do a calculator and this is over a week period, okay? So everything you've seen has been over a week just so I could get some good data for you. So if you take 1220 minus 1198, and that comes out to $22 earned over one week, okay? Times that by 52 weeks, 1144 divided by 1192, and that is an APR of 95%, okay? 95% APR is insanely high. Again, most likely you can expect to get between 20 to 60% APR, which is still amazing for essentially a risk-free trade as long as the token doesn't rise dramatically, okay, for these shorts. And I'll go over again that risk in a moment. But again, this is essentially earning passive income and you're basically countering these positions that you have and just taking advantage of the funding rate and the interest, okay? So you're watching this account value here and that's a good way to keep an eye on if you're maintaining that profit, okay? Next, what you wanna look at is your interest and funding, okay? So you can see here, for the interest now, right now for Bitcoin, since there is the decimal, um, I believe it's such a small decimal that you aren't gonna see the interest paid here. But if you go to FTT, for example, you can see every hour here, you can see the FTT is being paid, okay? And then you go to Mango, that interest is being paid. And then again, if you have MSOL as well, that interest is being paid, okay? so seeing the different interest being paid and then also you're seeing the funding that is being paid as well so right here total funding earned again this is in usdc value so 46 cents 44 54 cents three dollars and 72 cents for the mango perp again that is insane um we'll actually go over the funding and how you can look at the best rates for that but basically you can just see kind of a glance you know what you're earning here and kind of where um, that money is being accrued, okay? So this is a great way to look at that. And then next, what you wanna look at is stats, okay? So stats is actually gonna show you the funding rate for your perps. Now, the biggest thing I wanna say is for the funding rate, make sure that if, when you're shorting these perps and take advantage of the funding, that the funding is positive, okay? If the funding rate is positive, then your shorts will get paid. Keep that in mind. So. For example, BTC perpetual futures over 30 days, you can see most of the time the funding has been positive, okay? So that's gonna play to your advantage because you're gonna wanna short this perp. Now, let's go over to Ethereum, mostly positive. Okay, let's go over to Solana, for example, mostly positive. Let's go over to Serum. Okay, Serum is, it's negative a lot of the times actually. You can see here it's dipped down a couple times, so maybe not get into that one. Uh, radium, you can see this one is really, really negative for the funding. So you do not want to get into this one for shorting the perp. But FTT, you can see for the most part, it is positive on the upside. You know, just a little downturn here, but for the most part, it is positive funding. So again, taking advantage of these positive funding rates for your shorts so that you do get paid with that. Now, I did mention two things, okay? I mentioned I'm going to go over what MSOL is and then some risks about... Um, shorting these perps and you know if the price rises a lot so first let's actually go over what MSOL is so you can see exactly why I am holding this and I don't have a position open for shorting MSOL okay so basically what MSOL is you can see the deposit rates really low but basically MSOL if you go to the website marinade.finance slash app slash staking you'll come up to here this page here now You'll find out if you put in one soul, because you have to exchange soul for marinade soul. If you put in one soul, it's 0.9804 M soul. So you can see it takes about 1.02 soul to get one M soul. Now, the good thing about M soul is you can switch for M soul here on this website and then still stake it on the Mango Markets DEX. So what M soul does is it accrues interest from exchange rates. Okay, so basically is going to continue to increase in value. And eventually this soul, it's probably gonna take 1.05 or 1.10 to eventually equal one M soul, okay? So that's the great thing about that is you can take advantage of the 
interest rates from exchange rates. And basically from there, stake the MSOL on your Mango Markets account. And then from there, basically just earn interest from that. So it's a little hack, not a lot of people know. So I definitely recommend doing that and taking advantage of this versus just staking SOL um, because it tends to be more profitable, okay? So that's something, uh, again, a little hack, not a lot of people know. Now, I talked about there's some risks to this, okay? So mainly the risk comes from the Mango Perp, okay? So if you go to actually, if you click on Learn, it's gonna bring you up to this page here, basically all the docs on Mango Markets. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on Asset Specs, okay? Now, this is what you're gonna to wanna to look at, asset weights. So the initial asset weight, AKA haircut, is the discount applied to the value of the collateral when initializing a new position. For example, for Bitcoin, $100 in BTC is treated as 80 USD when initializing a new position. The maintenance asset weight is the discount applied when calculating the value of the collateral for purposes of liquidation. The maintenance asset weight is higher to give you more of a buffer before liquidation. So you can see here, BTC, it's higher. You know, the closer it is to one, the less risky it is. So 0 0.8, 0 0.8, SOL's 0.8, MSOL 0.8, um, RAY's 0.8, FTT is 0.8. Now, look at Mango. It's 0 0.2, okay? So this is a riskier asset. And I'm gonna show you actually a visual what this means. So if we actually go to the trading account here. So for example, you can see if I click on, so BTC perp, Look at that liquidation price. Okay, it's almost $3 million. Okay, so BTC gets to 3 million, again, you're gonna be liquidated. So, I mean, that is you know nearly 50X from where it is now. Now let's go over to Mango, okay? So if you go to the Mango perp, estimated liquidation price is 212, okay? That's only a 7X from where it's at right now. So a 7X versus a 50X like Bitcoin, okay? So you're gonna see if this rises a lot, there's a lot of price action, then your account will be at risk for getting liquidated. So you can't necessarily just be hands off completely. You gotta monitor your positions. But again, if you're not in Mango, if you're in you know, mainly a lot of these assets that are 0.8, then you're gonna be pretty safe. And while you may be earning a less of an APR, it's still gonna be a safer investment. So again, that's more so where it goes maybe to the you know, 15 to 20% APR. But again, you're just letting your money sit and work for you, which is great, taking advantage of these deposit rates and funding rates, okay? So definitely looking at that when you are um, trying to take advantage of these different assets. But again, having that in your cross check as well as your health factor is a big, big deal. So health factor, you can see for me, it's greater than 100%. Okay, health factor is doing great. If I actually go to account, then I'll actually be able to see health ratio is 117%. So long story short, health ratio, if it gets to 0%, you'll get liquidated. So again, Going to the docs, again, just clicking learn here, go to the docs page and clicking on initial setup. So you can see here, understanding the health ratio, okay? It says, once a position is open, it must maintain a health ratio above 0%. If an account falls to 0%, it will be liquidated and funds lost. To increase the health ratio, reduce borrows or deposit funds into your margin account to top up the health bar. So again, those are two things you can do, either reduce your borrows, so sell um, you know, sell the perps back, or deposit funds into your margin account, deposit more USDC, uh, basically to help offset that. So again, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, um, but making sure that this health ratio, you keep an eye on it, and again, if it gets closer to 0%, you definitely wanna start um, you know, doing these one of these two things to help increase that percentage back so you don't have risk of getting liquidated. So. As you can see, a lot of cool stuff here. Um, I hope it wasn't too confusing. Again, I've been doing this for a little over a week and you see I've, see I've accrued over $20 so far. So basically you can see the unrealized P&L because we have had a small downturn. So these perps are getting a little bit of income here. But again, if everything rises, then that spot position you have helps offset any value that you're losing from the perps. And then this perps, you're earning positive funding again making sure that you're checking that stats page in the perps so that you do see if they do have positive funding rates so you are earning money for shorting those perps, okay? So making sure you're checking this, making sure you're also checking um, that everything else is where it's supposed to be. Basically the risks are, um, the risks are lowered um, for a lot of these. So with that, hope you had a lot of uh, fun. 
kind of learning this new strategy. If you did, please give a video a like, comment if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to help anyone. And until next time, thanks for watching.